Good morning, Penn Trafford, and how do you do? Today's day is March 2nd. That ends in a two. On this day, a long time ago, Dr. Seuss was born and he started to grow. He wrote many books and ran many runs. You've all he read his books a million or two times. Today is a Seuss-tastical day for children to read. Encouragement and love is all that they need. So on this day across America, we read and have fun. So honor this day and let's read a whole ton. I'm Maddie. I'm Trent. Read Across America Day is a nationwide reading celebration that takes place annually on March 2nd, Dr. Seuss's birthday. Across the country, thousands of schools, libraries, and community centers participate by bringing together kids, teens, and books. Birthdays for today are Matthew Zitkovich and Mrs. Busey, and over the weekend, Daniel Cranston, Olivia Wentrobel, and Madison Cober. Attention video students, due to the delay, we will not be going to the elementary schools for Read Across America today. We will try to reschedule. We have a few room changes to report to you today. The, fo the following social studies, English, and health rooms have been moved. Ms. Martini moves from 115 to 130. Mr. Lynn from 210 to, two to 132. Mrs. Nabuda from 106 to 131. Mrs. Smith goes from 143 to 133. Mr. Davis from 144 to 134. Mrs. Arzenti and Coop from 149 to 115. Mr. Krovac from 148 to 143. Mr. Warziniak slash Palmer slash Cornelius room from the re, uh, moved from the computer lab in 150 to the temporary lab in 235. Mrs. Thornton from 107 to D10. Mrs. Birch from 235 to 210. Cap projects for this week are on Wednesday, March 4th is the Harrison City Women's Club project, start time 4 p.m. Saturday, March 7th is the Pet Friends from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And Sunday, March 8th, is the second Sunday supper. If you missed the deadline to register for the March SAT being given at Penn Trafford, you can still register at collegeboard.org through tomorrow. There will be an additional late fee. Congratulations to the architecture design team for earning first place in, co in the competition on Friday. Students from this team have been preparing a model for an empty parking lot in Lawrenceville since October. Students on the team include Sarah Bender, Sabrina Catalino, Catalano, Eden Elma, Maura McElhaney, and Josh Verhan. Please stop by Mrs. Wookich room uh, 229 to see the finished model. Congratulations to the Indoor Color Guard on their excellent performance at the Winter Guard International Regional Championship on Saturday, as well as their performance at the Penn Trafford Home Show. Congratulations also to the Indoor Percussion on great performances at the Penn Trafford Home Show and the Jeanette High School Show on Saturday evening. Any student that went on the marching band trip to California needs to stop in the band room by Thursday. March is National Music in Our Schools Month. The Beatles began f filming what would become their first feature film, A Hard Day's Night, at Mary Elborn train station in London on this day, March 2nd, in 1964. For a limited time, people who have detentions uh, can turn in food cans, bring in five non-perishable items to eliminate one detention. 10 items eliminates two detentions, and so on. Please no ramen noodles, bottled water, or expired dates. Take the items to the nurse's office. Outside guest forms for prom are now available in 141 or the main office. The Penn Trafford High School Choral Department is supporting Maddie Happerberger in her efforts to collect your old and unused but still working condition musical storage devices. Donations will be accepted from 7.30 a.m. in the main lobby through this Friday. The Learn to Ski and Snowboard event at Boyce Park has been rescheduled from tomorrow to Tuesday, March 10th due to the weather. See Senora Birch in room 210 to sign up. The PT Ski Club is also taking another trip to Seven Springs this Friday, March 6th. Sign up in room 210. Don't miss out. Boys volleyball tryouts begin today after school from 3 to 5. Players need to have physicals in order to participate. If you have not signed up previously, see Mr. Shaw today. Softball tryouts will be held this week starting tonight at 7 at the, in the high school gym, Tuesday at All-American from 3 to 5 with a one-way shuttle bus available, and on Wednesday from 5 to 7 at the high school gym. Anyone that signed up for track and field mandatory practice will begin today. You do not need to work, work out clothes for the first day. Report to the auxiliary gym at 2.45. In sports, congratulations to the Warrior Ice Hockey team as they defeated State College by a score of 9-5 to five on Friday night. Thanks to anyone who came out and supported their, their team on senior night. The Penguins have won four games in a row after, after a 5-3 to three win last night against Columbus. They will play Wednesday at Colorado. Today is the NHL trade deadline, which means that it is the last possible day for hockey teams to make it 
to make a trade until July. Congratulations to the girls' swimming relay team who head to the state meet at, as the 11th seed. The members of the team include Audrey Reagan, Devin Davenport, Emily Graziano, and Emma Winchill. Congratulations to Cam Coy, Matt McGillick, and Job Chisco, who will go to the Hershey State Championship Wrestling Tournament later this month. The weather forecast for today, it is currently 23 degrees and snowy. The high for today is 31, with a 60% chance of snow later today. Lunch menu for today is popcorn chicken with a roll, baked tater tots, and corn. Thanks for watching Wake Up Warriors. Please send to post with a flag. I'm Maddie. And I'm Trent. Happy Read Across America Day, Pentrafford.